Hi everyone, welcome to our YouTube channel. So this video we will talk about how to apply a hyperlink into a text or the object that you want or you want to convert a shape into a button, make it clickable to another website or another pages and so on to do the navigation. So we're going to show you inside this video. So let's get started. First of all, I will need you to use a type tool to type a text. So later, you can insert the link into this text. So after you type it, use the selection tool. Select the text or the object that you want to apply the hyperlink. Right click, hyperlinks, new hyperlink. Once you press on the hyperlink, you will see the pop up here. So it will ask you, uh, where you want to go and then what link you want to put so I just stick with the URL of course there's another things like the email pages and so on but we're going to start with the URL first then insert the link that you want maybe I just put our company website www.dhtraining.com after you're done just press ok to apply now you already successfully apply a link inside of this text okay then we start to create a button. So instead of using the default button, we can create the shape that we want and then convert it into the button. So how are we going to do it? So let's start it and then we do it step by step. So first of all, maybe you can select the rectangle tool or the ellipse tool or the polygon tool. So I will start with the basic one, rectangle tool. So shortcut is M on your keyboard. After that, just randomly click and drag on your artboard. So once you click and drag, I zoom in a bit. So this is the boxes. This is the box. And then I want to make it into uh, other color inside the field. There is no stroke around this rectangle. So what you need is just swipe this one. So now the fill color is the black color. But I don't want to use the black. So you can go on the top here click okay select the color you want maybe i just put a yellow color okay so you got a fill color for this rectangle okay then the next thing is i want to uh insert a text for these things here maybe it's a uh, click to call us something like this so what you need just use the type to click and drag exactly the box okay then start to type call us now okay after that you can highlight it to change the text size the font type and so on okay just make it slightly bigger so you can replace anything that you want align to the center okay okay Example, this is our text here, and then this too big, so I just make it into the center of the um, button. So we call it as button. So now I just select both of these, right click, you can search for group. If you can't search for group, then you can use a shortcut, Ctrl G or Command G on your keyboard, depends you are using the window or the Mac. Okay, so once I group, Okay, now I want to convert this thing into button. So how to convert? Just use the selection tool, select the object, which means this button, our button here. Right click, search for interactive, convert to button. Click on convert to button. Okay, now you will see the button ends form panel on the right hand side. So the first one, it will tell you what is this. This is the button. Of course, if you don't want, you can change to the rest uh, if you want. But the one we will talk about it in the next video. So we still stick with the button. And then you will need to name the button. Maybe you have multiple buttons, make you confused. So this one, we just name it as call us now. Okay. After that, under the event here, you see on release or tab. So you just change to on click. So which means that once people click, what will happen? So there's nothing happen here because the actions, no actions added. So you need to add an action into this. So click on this plus icon beside the action. Then go to URL. So once people click it, maybe they can go to your WhatsApp or whatever site. Okay, maybe I just put a... Uh, 
um, web dot whatsapp dot com. So once people click on this course now, they will redirect them into the web WhatsApp. Okay. So from here, you can also see there's some features here. So you can add some description here. And it's the telephone. Okay. So after you're done. So this one already done to apply the uh, convert the button into convert the rectangle into the button. So from here, you already convert the rectangle into the button. Okay, let's try on the other feature instead of go to URL. Maybe you want to go to the next page, but you need to check how many pages you got now. So I only have one pages, I guess, because at the beginning, I just put one. So open your uh, pages panel, you go to windows search for pages. Okay, on the right hand side, okay, now I got three different pages. So I'm working on the first page here. So I want you to jump to the second page, double click on the second page here and then jump to the second page. So from here, you can type to uh, indicate this is the page two. So later when we insert the uh, button, you know that which page it jumps. Okay, so this one I just change some font type. Okay, just make it bigger so easier for us to notice. Page two. Okay, now I jump to. Okay, I just copy first, jump to page three. Okay, done. So now we got the first page, apply hyperlink into text, and we got a small button here. The second page, we got the page two title. The third page, we got the page three title. Okay, now what we need to do, maybe I just arrange this one here in the center. Okay, now I just, you can either use the rectangle tool to create another button, or you can use the existing one. So just Control C to copy and Control V to paste, or you can hold that alternate to option and then click and drag the object that you want to copy, just like this. Okay, so now I just zoom in a bit back to this uh, copy version. So I unlock, uh, sorry, I ungroup this, Control Shift G, unlock it. Now I just change the chorus now into next. Okay, now group it again, Control G to group. Once you group, open again on your buttons and form panel or you can just right click convert to button okay so since ready convert to button so we just open the panel buttons and form so we will still use it as a button but we're going to rename it as next page okay so events here we're still using the on click but what will happen after people click on this button so by default is go to url because we just copy and paste from a previous uh, button so it will remember what action it is so this one we just press on negative to remove it now press on the plus again after you remove go to select the go to next page okay done so once you select the go to next page, you're ready done to apply the format into your button. Okay, now I create the second one. Okay, all right, change the one to page three. Okay, so when people click on this button, it will jump to the page three. So again, select this page three button, go to your buttons and form, open the type, blah, blah, and so on. This one I just have to to page three and then I just remove this go to the next page at this time I'm going to act go to page so what page it goes if it tells you here what pages you want to go I just go to the third page okay after you're done then you're done to apply all the uh, links and the navigation to the page so if you want to see the result you must export it so how to export just go to file folder to put it okay so remember the format change it to interactive if you don't change to interactive you can't click to see those effects 
So I just put it Adobe PDF Interactive. So this one I just use for testing hyperlinks. Okay. After you're done, press on the save. Okay. Once you save, you help ask you which page you're going to export. So I'm going to export all, and then I no need to change anything from here. Just press on the export. Okay. Then okay. Okay. Done. Once you're done, you can go to uh, uh, Arobat to see whether it works or not. So thank you for watching.